What up, YouTube? It's your boy Ghost. I'm uh, coming to you from inside my house. Uh, I'm actually trying to try out a new. Uh, I got my iPad, so I'm trying out the video quality of it. But today's video, I'm gonna be talking about uh, the California number, or it's also called uh, Form 362, which is this form right here. Um, basically, every time I go out on the road, I check out. You know trucks and their authorities so I noticed that you know everybody like certain trucks have a CA number and I kept telling myself well since I live in California um, I got my authority I got my DOT my MC um, what is the California number what is that do I need it what what's its purpose I see it on certain trucks and I always wonder what do I need it for so um, I did some research I, I did a lot of research on how to even get this number and you got to go through CHP you got to fill out this packet it's about five pages long and uh, you fill it all out you fax it in and then in about uh, they told me between three to four weeks they'll issue you your CA number so uh, basically you need that number to operate within California I mean technically People don't have it on their trucks, but it's supposed to be attached to your DOT number. And, you know, certain people, they actually put it on there because, you know, California, it's its own country when it comes to everything, it seems like, especially in trucking. I mean, we have so many regulations and rules that, I mean, it's crazy. I think they just passed a new uh, fuel tax law. So it's like, you know, California, yeah, it's, it's kind of a headache. But for anybody that's trying to get their authority, um, that lives in California or is interested in getting a California number and doing it yourself I'm gonna drop the link in the description on um, where to go I'm gonna drop the phone number so you guys can call but it's California uh, form 362 I mean you can google CHP form 362 California number and it should pop right up or you can click on the link in this description and then it give it to you right then and there you can go to the website you can print out the, uh, the little PDF form of it, fill it out, uh, fax it in, do what you need to do, so then you can get your California number. This is something that, you know, it took me a long time to actually figure out. I mean, I called uh, DOT, I called California, um, the uh, Secretary of State, I called everybody. I jumped through so many hoops to finally find this, and I finally found it, so, you know, I'm gonna save, a lot of you a shortcut I'm gonna give you guys a shortcut on just how to go on and get straight to it if you're trying to do it yourself here's the you know the links on how to do it for me I did it all by myself except my IRP and uh, my IFTA I'm actually gonna pay somebody to do that because I went on the website today and I, I tell you I probably got more gray hairs after dealing with that because it was confusing I said you know what I'm gonna just pay this place to do it uh, for me my IRP plates are gonna be two thousand four hundred and sixty dollars so hey, I figured hey, I'm gonna just go and bite the bullet let them do let them handle everything and I'm good that way I know it's done right with if the I think they're gonna they're gonna charge me like uh, 67 bucks so I'm gonna just let them handle everything and then I guess I just got to turn in my quarterly uh, mileage statements which to me, I'm like, that's cool. That saves me money, saves me time, and saves me headaches. Because I'm learning that this whole authority process has been a headache. It's a lot of back office work, which, you know, more the more, uh, I'm going to drop more videos talking about the back office work and everything that, you know, I've set up, everything I've done. Uh, I'm going to talk about my folder for specifically DOT or just my permit book. And it's going to have basically everything that that I need to know because uh, I'm in the process of getting my second truck on the road right now. Right now I have a 2013 Cascadia. I have a 1985 uh, Peterbilt, which I'm putting that back together. I think that's just going to be my custom truck for me because it's so old. I'm not going to put a driver in that, but I'll be dropping videos talking about that truck as well. But I just put in my bid for a uh, 2016 uh, it's a Black Freightliner Cascadia Evolution. It's uh, automatic. Um, it's an automatic. I think it's a 10-speed automatic transmission. 
Um, I've done a lot of research on whether I was going to go manual, whether I was going to go automatic. So I'm going to just go and bite the bullet. It's a little bit more than what I wanted to pay for the truck, but hey, I mean, it, it basically is going to pay for itself. Um, it's coming with a, I think it only has 197,000 miles on it. So it still has the factory warranty, a lot of the factory warranty. And this one actually has all the whistles and bells. Like it has all the owner operator gauges. So I'm like, I'm happy about that. And I'll be dropping more videos of it. Uh, I gotta go pick my trailer up because I have a trailer, it's uh, paid for. So I ain't gotta worry about no trailer um, note or anything like that. It's done. So, you know, in the next couple weeks, I'm gonna be dropping more videos about my process of getting my authority. Right now, this is just a CA number. So, love, peace, prosperity. And I will holler at you guys later and catch you in the next film. Deuces.